Alright folks, welcome back to the second half of episode 3. This looks really familiar, I don't know if I've been here before. Yeah, I have. Alright, so... Starting to run into the same stuff, and probably pretty close to the spawn. So, I'm gonna uh, continue exploring. Alright folks, looks like we found ourselves some nice little village here. Uh, got a blacksmith, so I can see. Gonna check that one out. At this point, we're probably about two thirds of the way explored around the uh, the edge of the desert, so we're gonna be exploring for the till the end of the episode for sure. So there's, there, I mean, there's just a lot of stuff here to get, so. Paint some boots and some obsidian. Nice. Uh, that wooden axe is just hanging on. Probably going to end up busting it if I can find uh, bookshelves. Which I think, uh, yeah, they're right there. I learned how to walk. I'll be fine. There it is. It didn't last too long. <coughs> Sorry about that. I'm gonna have to craft me another axe because I don't like punching wood. I'll make an iron one just because. Alright, let's try that again, and uh, this time we'll do it properly. And we'll equip our, our clothing. So yeah, we're fully equipped in iron. Well, I'm fully equipped in iron. Now I, I see why those people that say we all the time, I see why they do it. It's just, it's too easy not to. It's, it's too easy to say it. Okay. Alright, so I think that's about it for this village, so I'm going to continue exploring and I'll be back. Alright, here we go guys, pyramid number 8. diamonds. Sweet deal. Here we got standard assortment. And some more. And another diamond. Nice. This pyramid had three, so that's, that's pretty good. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and take this TNT, get the hell out, and uh, I'll be back when I find more stuff. Well, that was quick. I'm just at the top of pyramid number 8, and I see a fairly decent sized village. It looks like they got a blacksmith, a bunch of farms, so I'm going to have to loot that. Definitely going to be stealing some of this wheat on my way, running low on my bread. Go rob this blacksmith. It's a good thing these uh, the NPCs never get hostile. Nothing great, but you can't turn down free stuff. Get the bookshelves. Well, I'm gonna go do that off camera, and I'll be back once I find even more stuff. All right, guys. It looks like we have another little village here. Um, doesn't look like there's a blacksmith, but might be surprised.
definitely not seeing a blacksmith. But, hey, something, I suppose. And I'm, uh, I'll be back once I find more stuff. Hey guys, I just uh, finished exploring all the uh, the borders, and then I just happened to come across this. So, thought I'd show you what I find. West Ham spawner, usually in the middle, but there it is. taken care of. Yeah, so I'm... Wow, that mouse sucks. Uh, nothing great, but, you know, I'll take the extra bucket. Wow. And some cocoa beans. As you can see, I've been gathering quite a bit of stuff. No, oh, I'll take the string, too. Yeah, like I said, I've been gathering quite a bit of stuff, so definitely gonna be an easy start once we start doing stuff. Well, once I start doing stuff. So this one's got nothing real fancy. Oh, out of bread. Oh well, I can stay. Don't really care at this point. And, uh, gonna be sleeping and running back to the house. I'll see you there. So, as you can see by my freshly organized inventory, I've been a bit busy. Uh, collected a lot of crap going through all that. Uh, we hit a total of eight pyramids. There's probably more, though. Like, there's a lot of middle part that I didn't get to explore, so I'll probably do that eventually. But, uh, I think I'm gonna start up this little villager town and uh, I'm not going to build my permanent structure here um, but it's going to be close so I can get uh, some good people to trade with hopefully out of here I'm going to eventually be breeding these people so if, I don't, if nothing's good here I'm just going to breed more um, yeah I'm going to go uh, fortify this little village a bit and I'll be back and show you what I did ok guys been a little bit busy I walled the entire uh, city and uh, put in the villager spawner. Seems to be working. Uh, yeah, quite a few little bastards running around now. Because the villagers that were spawned here, their their trades were just complete garbage. Yeah. So really, I spent two hours doing walls and building that and uh, disassembling this pyramid here. So really, I don't need it now that I got the treasure chest, so it can go. Um, yeah, I haven't really accomplished too much more than that, but I'll be back with another quick update before I, uh, I end this, uh, this episode. Right. Finally, found a guy that trades paper. That's gonna be good. So I've got a whole lot of little pricks running around now. Started my chicken coop. I haven't uh, haven't tried to lure any chickens, and I've been just chucking eggs. And my my odds of uh, getting a new chicken are always low. I just have no luck when it comes to that, but that's fine. Oh yeah. Still not much going on, but you know it's it's growing quickly. Gonna I think I'm gonna start my melon farm here real quick. And that'll probably be it for this episode. So, when you're breeding villagers, you'll eventually get one of these uh, golems here. I was going to make a couple, but I, he just spawned, so I was like, alright, cool. Saves me some, uh, some stuff here, so. But, you got to make damn sure you don't hit any of the villagers. This brick 
is not friendly. He just, uh, basically just handed my ass to me. So, just a heads up. Don't fuck with the villagers. Okay, apparently the golem is sorry. He's offering me a rose and apology. That's probably the most fucked up thing I've ever seen in Minecraft. But anyway, I'm just finishing up my, my farms here. You can see I'm doing a melon farm. And I've already got a melon. Pretty damn quick. That's good. Sugar cane's doing well. Wheat always does well. Uh, yeah, the breeding house is doing really well. I still gotta get more chickens. And a fence gate. Uh, I have some sort of cave system underneath the place and it's spawning a bunch of damn zombies at night because everything's torched up pretty well so shit doesn't normally spawn in here unless it's from underground or something yeah I think that's gonna do it for this video um, well this episode actually next time um, fuck I don't know what I'm gonna do probably gonna go do some caving try to find a mine shaft get uh well I'm gonna get my enchantment table going that's for sure and probably by episode 5 we'll be in the nether I've already got the coordinates for the end I know how to get to the the, uh, the stronghold but that's gonna be a long way off uh, yeah that's about it have fun have a beer I'm out later